going on YouTube. Never mind the pajamas. We don't uh, we ain't going out much. Well, I'm not going out much. And um, as you know, with this coronavirus thing, hell, most of the time I'm in pajamas now. It ain't. I only got to get dressed if I'm going to Walmart or some shit to get some food or something. I'm freshly stocked on food, tissue, water, the whole nine. So I'm good on that note. But um, I want to keep videos going. So today I'm going to show uh, just a brief video. It's not going to be long on how I blacked out my Chevy symbol on the front of my vehicle and on the back of my vehicle. I've already did the back. I already cut out the front. I'm going to still show you how I did that so that if people want to add to their car to black out that symbol instead of buying one of them expensive blackout symbols they sell the little uh, material that you can buy for probably about 10 bucks and you can black out as much as you want um, I, I blacked out my side markers they came with a light tint putting that heavy tint on them did darken the light up some um, but it looks really really good and I did the back Chevy bow tie which I'm gonna show you and I did the front I wanted to do the high stop mount light because I'm going to replace out my tail lights with some custom tail lights I want to do my high stop mount light, but the material isn't enough. Now I ordered some window mat film material that's supposed to come Mon uh, Monday because I'm going to do my screen door. I'm a tenant, so I can leave my door open. People can't look in. That's a whole other story. I may, if I have enough material left, I may window tint uh, that high stop mount light or that stop mount light on the back uh, trunk. If not, then of course I will have to buy one. But, but tinting it out with some good material that will last is uh, a little bit better than buying, cheaper than buying a new one. A new one probably would last a lot longer, um, but for now, I just be trying to see how stuff look, and plus, you know, we need shit to do, right? So, they just me doing little shit, different little things. In any case, I'm gonna flip the camera and show you what I'm talking about in a minute. All right, here's what's going on, on YouTube. Sun, Never mind the pajamas. It was almost like a thunderstorm earlier. It was crazy, but in any case, as you can see, this Chevy symbol, it was gold. I just bought some material. I mean, I, should, I, I did almost a perf perfect job with this. And um, a lot of people be having problems trying to cut it that perfect. So I'm gonna show you the little process that I took to get it that perfect. That almost looked like it came from the factory that way. You gotta really get up on it to see that um, it just covered material. And I didn't want any gold to show. So I overlapped the material a little bit just to make sure it's completely covered. I overlapped the material just a little bit just to make sure it's completely covered. As you can see, that turned out really, really, really well. And I'm gonna show you that. I did that to the back. I liked how it turned out so much that I decided to do it to the front. As you can see, that is the front one right there. That's how it looks now. And what I'm going to do, I already used the template to cut out my material. I didn't show how I did that, but basically it's the best thing to do. You find something to cut it out. Let me show you. you. Find something to cut it out and make sure it completely covers it. And, um, I'm sorry. Make sure it completely cover, covers it. This pretty much peel and stick. After you peel and stick it, you heat it up with a heat gun. Uh, you press down on it to smooth it out. And then you trim it with a, a razor. And this is the razor that I'm going to use. I bought, you know, it's just a little cheap dollar store razor, but it works great for like trimming. So when I'm, I'm going to cut the video. When I get back to the video, I'm already peeling and sticking on. I'm going to show you me heating it up, heating it up real quick. And I'm going to show how I, I just trim it just a little bit in a minute. All right, here's now a little sun. Dark came here. back out. It was almost like a um, thunderstorm. Maybe I pulled my car off further so it can be seen in the daytime. All right, I pulled now my car off. a little light, a little bit dark more. in here. Still um, kind of hard to see, but in any case, uh, what I suggest is. When I already cut, I already cut it out. I overlap this so it can stay stuck on the chrome piece because I'm gonna trim that. Um, what I do suggest is you put it on here smooth to overlap, and you smooth it out a little bit with your finger like I'm doing. 
Make sure it's on there a little bit tight because uh, when you heat it up, it's going to stick really good. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to heat it up with my heat gun. As you can see, just a cheap drill master heat gun. Um, I use the lowest setting because it does get really hot. And as you're heating it up, you will see um, it start to form. You don't have to heat it up for too, too long, but you want it to get hot enough to where for one, there's no air bubbles, and for two, it'll stick really well. Now, it is going to be a little hot. I'll suggest getting like some cardboard or something like that to um, push down on it to flatten it out some more and smooth it out a little bit more. And you just go over it a little bit like that. And you'll start to see it take, take form and take shape. From the, with the, the Chevy symbol itself. Once you start seeing it do that, then uh, you're in good shape. I mean, it's shrinking on and it's sticking on. Make sure you get around all the edges real good. When you trim it, you will be able to remove that. You just get around the edges good, because you want it to look good too. You get around the edges good, around the middle good. Don't take long, maybe one or two minutes, and it's done. You don't see no air bubbles, you do it as you do. Stop and peel it back. And if you see air bubbles, stop, peel apart. That has an air bubble in it. It's a little hot, but I can still try to flatten it a little bit with my finger real briefly before my fingers start burning. Cause yeah, it is hot, but see how much better it looks? That looks way much, way, way better than the factory. I did want to go with the glow one, which is a lot of work I heard to get it out, but it's worth it. I like that glowing symbol. Maybe one day I will go with that glowing, but for now, like I said, I'm just going to go with this. And I'm going to enjoy it. Now, as you can see how it turned out, looks good. I don't know if you can see it really well in this light, but it looks, looks really good in a bad spot. I'm gonna back up a little bit. I'm gonna go in a little bit. Well, you can see it looks really good. Um, all I gotta do is trim it off a little bit and that's it. So enjoy the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button.